The Hidden History of Black Argentina Ikigoni A century of European immigration brought with it a comprehensive effort to erase the country's multiracial past. Only recently has that been reversed. February 8, 2021 All sport via Getty Images Diego Maradona, front, center, with family and friends in Villa Fiorito, Argentina, 1980. This country has no tradition of its own, Argentina's master writer, Jorge Luis Borges, told me in an interview in 1975. There's no native tradition of any kind since the Indians here were mere barbarians. We have to fall back on the European tradition, why not? It's a very fine tradition. The words great to modern ears, but they seem true to Borges's world. His own grandmother, Frances and Haslam, had come from Staffordshire, England. And by 1920, when Borges turned 21, over half the population of his native Buenos Aires had been born in Europe, the result of a vast wave of late 19th century and early 20th century immigration. According to this idea of Argentina's roots, our capital city of Buenos Aires is the Paris of South America, and we are all descendants from Europe, as then-President Mauricio Macri said at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, in 2018. A corollary of this claim is one made by an earlier president, Carlos Menem, to a Dutch audience at Maastricht University in 1993 that, because Argentina had abolished slavery as early as 1813, we don't have blacks. At a later lecture, bizarrely enough, at Howard University in Washington, D.C., Menem added, that is a Brazilian problem.